Hi everyone, it's Christine here. So I'm doing week 18 of Roxy's Weekly Challenge and it's um, painted labels and with some stamping. So I've just got my paint um, set out. This is just a real cheapy children's set um, from the Red Dot store. Um, so, and I've just gone through my bin and I've just found all these scraps of paper that I want to use use up and some book page as well. These is what I've torn off to um, make things a bit smaller for what I wanted to use them for. So I just thought, well, I'll just use this and let's see what we can create. So I'm just going to do red. Um, I don't have any template of a label, so I'm just I'm handballing it. So we will just go around the edge of the the paper, because that's about the size that I would. Have as a label anyway. Yeah, and we'll just do another one. They're very wishy washy. This one's going to be a bit shorter because that's like that. Let's turn that round and we can just go like that. So hopefully that dries nicely. So this is just copy paper too, so I don't know how well it's going to um, come out. So let's do some red on this book page. Okay. So I'm going to do a long, extra long one. And we'll just do another little square one on this one.
Okay, so that's those ones done. Just put those aside. So let's go for some blue. Um, I won't put it too close to that edge because I want to, I'll have to cut that edge off anyway. So that is that one. And I want to do, might keep that for a green, green tag. And I'll use, I want to do a big one, a big blue one. Do a long skinny blue one on this one. square one on this one oops like that now I can finish The rest of those with the green. I'll use this dark green. Now I want to do a long one with this. Oops, I need more water. Okay, now 
that's good I think I might do another no I'll do a um, another green one here I was thinking of doing another blue one but that's okay we'll do a green one Okay, so that one's sorted. So I'll let that dry. Now I was going to do a long one here, but that's too thin there. I'll just do a little um, green one to get that number. Like that. So that can dry now. Okay, I'll do this green one on here first. So this is quite a deep. Deep label. I've enjoyed um, doing these Roxy challenges because Rachel really has taken me out of my normal things, so um, which is great. Okay, so that's that one done. So let's bring this one over and let's do. medium size label like that that done actually I might try a yellow see what that turns out like it's a bit I've got a bit of green on that So that's it. So they just need to dry now and then I'll come back and do the next stage. So I'll be right back. Okay, so these have dried now. Um, get that out of the way. I've just got one spot on here that's taking a little bit longer um, to dry. So let's stamp, get my stamps here. Oops, I've got my stamper. And if 
can have a little play. So I've got this one. So like that can go there. That one there. And it's got, I've got that that I can add to it. Should be able to do both of those together. Okay, that's like that. little butterfly for this one there on here I've got to be on a deep one put that one there so let's do these that didn't work out too well I won't be able to, oh, I can try, I'll have to. Do it on this one. And I can cover up that one that didn't work out. Yeah, that looks right, isn't that gorgeous? I just don't think I can get that right back in the right position again. I'll give it a try. I can always um, cover it up. Oh, yeah, that worked out okay. So that's that one. This is actually a beautiful set, this one. Um, I'll show you in just a sec. So that's this one. It's gorgeous. got some French writing and, and that. So this is from um, Designed by Sam Poole. And um, I got that, bought this from Paper Inspirations. So that's a gorgeous set. my other bundle of stamps which I enjoy using um, ones so we'll try some of those and there's some of these so 
like this. You can try this one. And that should fit in there. Put that up the top there. Some of these, like this one I haven't used yet, that can go in there on that one. That looks good. Oh, I've got this one. That's sort of writing, so we can actually add that one maybe to there. So just check, I've actually done that one upside down, so we can do a, something different on top of that one. Sometimes these, I find these stamp actually a little bit difficult. Um, because I'm, I can't actually see the writing, so I'm not sure which way it's going. Right. That one worked. I'll do this stamp again. It goes that way. Now I've got a few more little butterflies. I might do the butterflies on, on these. I'm going to do a butterfly over top of that. So hopefully that will cover up that I actually put that stamp in upside down. So let's see how that looks. Yep, that works good. This one like here one this is a lot of fun I'm actually really enjoying this so I've got this this one I can add that there Isn't that cute? And I've got really little tiny butterflies. 
that I can add into there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to add one into that little little box there. So I'm going to leave that one like that. Um, just trying to think. So this is actually, this stamp is actually a line. So let's, actually let's do it that way and see if I can make a set of lines. Going down. And then oh. in this set, I've got the tiniest little butterflies down the bottom here. So we can add a little butterfly down here. So I think we'll go up that way because I'd put it upside down. So that's how that one's going to go. Just turn that round because I think I'll add a few butterflies on some more. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so tiny. Really sweet. So cute. All right, oh, so it's the tiniest little little one, and it got they go even smaller. Now, what else? So we've got. Gonna put that away. I think I've got all the butterflies. No, nope. this one or oh, this one goes in here. Just want to get because there's actually a lot of little pieces in that one, so I'll get it back into its bag so I don't lose any of the pieces. Right, and these go into the other. Um, so just need something now, just for this. This I don't think I'll use anything more. I'm just seeing what else I've got. That's where that other one goes in here. Maybe I can put that down there, just along the bottom there. That's that one. And so that's quite long. So I need something. Oh, okay. 
So in my sample set, this one, I've got this here. So let's see if that will fit into that one. And then that might be all that that needs. around a bit okay so I'm happy with that aren't they gorgeous I'm definitely doing more of that that was a lot of fun so thank you Rachel for inspiring me and um, that's my week 18, my cute little labels that I can now use. So painted labels with the stamping. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really do hope you enjoy that. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.